Hello all, welcome back to my channel. This is Future B here with another video. And in this video, I am going to be doing this set of textured nails. These are so cute. I hope that the lighting is doing them justice. Oh my goodness, these are so cute. Stay tuned to see how I did these nails. So we're going to start it with this Natural Balance Pink from Mia Secret. This is going to be the base for these nails. I haven't used this in quite a while and I forgot how good a powder this one is. I can see why it's almost empty. I guess I used to use this a lot back in the day, but I haven't used it in probably a year, year and a half. Right here, I'm showing you how long it takes for the bead to become wet all the way through. I didn't sew that part down, but you gotta make sure your bead is wet all the way through before you work with any product, but Mia Secret especially. I've heard other people say that Mia Secret is kind of runny in comparison to others. And if you are having that issue with any acrylic and monomer set, the key is you know letting it get wet all the way through and maybe become just slightly matte before you go ahead and apply it to the nail that way it won't run too much on you and you won't waste a lot of product in general i think i might have to order this color again because i really did enjoy working with this natural balance pink color if you were like in a nail salon and they were doing some pink and white nails a lot of the times they use this natural balance pink for the clear portion of your nails because it looks so natural. It has very, very, very little tint to it. Maybe a light rosiness is what it has to it. My only issue with working with clear acrylics is if I'm doing an entire nail in clear, I can't tell how thick I'm making the nail until it's completely dry. Am I the only one that's weird like that? Yeah. But these nails weren't too thick <laughs> and I didn't have to do a crazy amount of filing with these. I really liked working with this and as you saw at the beginning I did use Mia Secret Monomer with this acrylic. Also I'm working with a size 14 brush. I got all of these products off of Amazon and they are linked down below. Now onto this nail design. I think this is probably the simplest nail set that looks the most intricate that I've seen in a long time. It was incredibly easy to do this and it looks like I put in a lot of effort and doing a French tip, a hand-drawn French tip is like a lot of effort, but <laughs> in general, I think this is incredibly beginner friendly and I was laughing yesterday. I did this nail set two days ago after I saw this design on Instagram and then yesterday, Sunday, I was looking on YouTube and I saw that V nailed it this, this exact same nail set. And I'm like, well, I guess this design is becoming kind of popular. <laughs> but anyways, I think that this is incredibly beginner friendly. There I go again, showing you how the bead needs to look before you apply it. Even that one was a little bit runny on its own. But as I am pressing my brush around, I'm kind of taking a little bit of the liquid away and it's helping to dry that out. But as I was saying, this is incredibly beginner friendly because you're only working with one acrylic here. I did not put a clear base below this because this is um, a core color. It is a cover color. I did the entire nail with this one color and one acrylic and you know that's it as i'm getting into the filing and shaping and buffing you'll see just how pretty the nails came out and then after i do my file shaping and buffing i am going to go in with base coat and then i'm going to go in with a pink and truthfully the pink that i used was so beautiful i could have top coated it with some shiny top coat and just worn the nails in that pink color it was gorgeous and if you like simple, simple nail sets, that is definitely a way to go. Now I'm going to tap the nails to make sure that they are dry enough to file. We're going to file them, crispen up this shape really nicely. After I go in with my hand file, I will be going in with an e-file. I'm going to be using a coarse drill bit, a coarse barrel drill bit, just to crisping up the cuticles i want to make sure that the nails are laying flush with my uh, finger 
I am wearing a base coat under these nails because I am going to be taking them off pretty soon, but I still wanted the cuticles to look nice. So I did go in with my drill bit, my e-file and drill bit on my nails. Now I'm going to go in and buff the nails with these buffing blocks that I got on Amazon. These were a really good deal. I think I got 10 buffing blocks in this set. It also came with the nail files that I'm using here and uh, it, it was a pretty good deal. It's linked down below too. <laughs> so I know I said in a previous video that I do like to go in with a matte top coat before I do nail art on top of a nail and that is going to be the same in this video. However, I am going in with base coat before I apply this full cover color to my nails so i'm going to go in with the base coat i'm going to cure and then i'm going to go in and add the pink to my nails and then i will be top coating that in matte top coat and then going in to draw the french tips on these nails that being said there's going to be a lot of polish on these nails <laughs> going in with the base coat the color and then top coat and then the Frenches and then top and coating them again. Yeah, these nails could come across as thick So of course you want to work with a very thin layer of polish each time you're working with it, but also You can go in and you can file these nails if you want to crispen up this shape after you have applied gel polish you can go back in with the file obviously you don't want to file the polish off but you can file the nails to crisp and back up this shape also that's another reason why you want to make sure that the nails are not too bulky because gel polish will add bulk onto the nails so make sure you're working as thinly as possible whenever you're applying your acrylic make sure you're working as thinly as possible when you're applying your gel polish and then if needed go ahead and file the edges to go ahead and crispen up the shape again after you have applied all of your layers of gel polish i hope all of that makes sense <laughs> and i only went in with one coat of the gel polish if you need to go in with more than one coat of your gel polish it might be even more important for you to file the nails because they will end up looking bulky and who wants bulky nails not me i don't like flat nails i do want to have a nice apex on my nails but no one wants bulky nails like nobody <laughs> so when i was doing these nails i did use my thumb kind of as a dummy nail i went in to try several things as i was doing it that's why i did the french for that nail off camera um and it worked out for me <laughs> so i went in to do my french on my other fingers and i did all of the outlines of the french cured my nails and then i went in and colored them in why is that because i did not want to mess them up <laughs> but i wanted to do all of the drawings of the frenches the outline of them all at the same time because I wanted to make sure that they matched. I didn't want one to be like higher on the nail and one lower on the nail. And so I did those all at once, cured. And now I'm going in with a just a simple nail brush and I am painting the rest of the nails. This that I'm using for the French is called a nude. The color is just called Nude, and it is from a Savvy Land gel paint set. It is also linked down below. This Nude, I really wouldn't call it Nude. <laughs> it's more like a peach to me. It has like an orangey tint, and it has a little pink in it, but I really wouldn't call it Nude. Whenever I think of Nude, I think of things that have a tan tint to them, or they are less orange i just want it to be less orange <laughs> but i think this is a really nice color for this set because it complements the nail bed color that i used as i said before now i'm going in with top coat once again and this is the final layer of top coat that i'm using it is a shiny top coat i'm going to apply it to all of the nails and cure and now i'm going in with the texture on the nails this is going to be real quick real simple real easy so what I'm using is a glue gel 
that I got from Amazon. It sits upright on my desk there. It is linked down below as well. It's a diamond glue gel. I think it is great. And because the brush is kind of like a liner brush, I'm able to use it to just apply the texture to the nail. I did apply it to two nails and then cured, and then I'm applying it to the last two nails, and then I will be curing again. I did it that way because I did not want this to run, and I didn't want the glue to attempt to blend in with the other line of glue so i did two nails at a time curing for 30 seconds after the first one and then doing the next two nails and then doing a full cure so aside from applying cuticle oil that is the final look of these nails pretty simple in general it took me about an hour to do this one hand it would have been probably two hours if i had done both hands but the process was really simple and it came out so cute it came out even cuter than i thought it would as i was looking back at these photos i was like dang i wish i'd done both hands <laughs> anyways would you wear this nail set what would you have done differently have you seen anybody else do this nail set what do you think? I would love to know down below. If you have any recommendations for me, please let me know those as well. And I will see you in my Thursday upload. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.